on to Portia's Family Matters. Shout so much happened on Portia's Family Matters. Lord. It's just like the clans update. For the uh for the stories, I don't know if y'all remember that they used to give the uh, update on the radio in like sixty seconds for the story. Child, <laughs> boiling a beautiful child. Brooke was always fucking somebody, daddy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into Portia. So the main thing with Portia was first of all Dennis versus Dom. So we got this breakdown apparently in a relationship amongst Dom and Dennis. Dennis used to feel like Portia's people were his people too, but now he feel like they the ox because Dom told Lauren about the woman who Dennis cheated on during Portia's, I mean, cheated on Portia with during the pregnancy, told Portia that she was working at crew, one of his restaurants, one of his hookah bars. So he had basically rehired this girl. He had fired her after he slept with her because Portia was pregnant and said, fire the bitch. So he fired her. And then as time went on, he must have rehired her or something. And then that got back to Dom. That got back to Lauren. That got back to Portia. So now Dennis looks at Dom like an op. And I think a lot of people felt how I felt, which is like, Dennis, you are not about to make Dom's messy ass responsible for you getting caught out there another time. Because that time was not the first time. But were they saying that he cheated or the girl that's working? Because I, I when know I, the girl was working. At, they found out the girl was working at one of his crew restaurants. Not that he had actually cheated, but that that girl was working at. Yeah. But I that was also, stupid. wasn't that also around the same time? Because I feel like they for real, for real broke up around the time when that picture showed up with him down to the diner with all of the girls. We said that was the second time they broke up. So I feel like when she when he cheated, they probably broke up the first time because he cheated. Mm -hmm. Boom. They got back together. And then later on, when the girl was working at the, at the at the place, when she found out the girl worked there, she got pissed and they broke up again. But I feel like, look, Dennis is a piece of shit. Dennis, to me, Dennis never a wanted to be in a relationship. He is charming. That's what people <laughs> try to do. I feel like Dennis never wanted to be in a full-blown marriage with Portia. I think they met. She got pregnant. Okay, let's get married. I think he tried to make it work. That ain't who he is. And I'm like, I think we should like, okay, that's not who he is. It doesn't mean we there wasn't wasn't wrong. That's what the fuck Dennis. But I feel like why is y'all talking about this now? Like why why does Dennis why does it matter? And also I'm like, Dom, why tell Lauren no Lauren gonna tell Portia if Portia pregnant at the time like it was, yeah, I, it was, was just too much for me. And I feel like I don't know the point of them trying to keep talking about Dennis and what happened four years ago. Well, three years mm -hmm. ago. Which was, to me, that doesn't make no sense. I'm like, Dennis, you can't blame Dom. It was your fault. However, why are y'all even discussing it now? So that's I was like, I was over that. Apparently, it's because Dom is a I'm about to say, apparently Dom wanted to discuss how Dennis wanted to catch a fade. <laughs> that and I also feel like Dom is a mole. Like, why did he bring that up at the table? I they discussed this situation three times. Once after yoga, once on the tequila tasting, came back and he discussed it again in front of Portia. Um, what else? Oh, okay. So one thing I wanted to talk about, I found it interesting. Initially, I was like, okay, maybe Dennis didn't know that the girl was working there. 600 is a lot of employees. But I'm like, how do you have visibility to Storm, who you hired and fired multiple times, but then you don't have visibility to one of six? Like, do you have visibility to one of 600 employees or do you don't? When it comes to the girl you was cheating with, you didn't know she was there. But when it comes to Storm, you close enough to your 600 employees to hire and fire. I don't believe well, I that wonder. nobody would have told him. I don't. I don't believe that. Like that the somebody, the yeah, somebody would have told him. Dennis, you know, old girl is working at down to the crew, right? Like somebody would have said that because they everybody would have knew who worked at that place. They would have known who the girl was. So I feel like you know he he lying. <laughs> he lying. I'm concerned because I feel like I I don't think Dennis hire and fire. I don't think he cared enough to hire and fire. But I do think he had people in place who know certain shit. And when he said, like, the girl probably would have told them we fucked because she would have got hired. I think Dennis, no, the staff, no. Anyone who I used to fuck, don't hire them. 
because if you hire them, I gotta be around them. It's on it's on bullshit. I think he knows Storm because Dennis he is, is, so you don't think Dennis is out there trying to have sex with the people that he hires. I'm saying if he's already fucked them, he don't want them to come back after he's fucked them. Because that's now nah, that's drama. That's I mean, he let Storm come back. <laughs> Shit. I, I don't think he fucks Storm. I but think he, he likes Storm. But I'm just saying, like, if you really don't like drama, what you let Storm come back for? Honey. If she was so terrible, like that is interesting. And, and better yet, I want to know why she came back because there's plenty of places where you could go be a bottle girl or a hostess. I'm not understanding. I do want to say she said that she did not go back. She said that it happened and then she quit. She didn't go back. So I think Dennis was the I one that was said, suspended. you know, I think she was so, suspended and he was saying she was fired. And right, she's probably, you know, the um, insubordination, whatever you get, you get suspended and then come back. And then they had to fire. Oh, That's what, okay. what she said. I, I, so I think after she was fired, she didn't come back. Price suspension. Yeah. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out the timeline with that because she said when she was 18 or 19, but then he said he threw her a 21st birthday party. So they had a relationship for at least three to four years. She said it was the 20th. She said uh, oh, it oh. was her 20th birthday, not her 21st. Mm. Yeah, that drunken live was a lot. She got Storm, Portia's little cousin, got on live and said a lot of things. She called um, Dennis a pediolite on Twitter. You know, she said that he harassed her and that he assaulted her. And she posted pictures of her cuts and bruises and things of that nature. But um, from my standpoint, unless I see different footage, you probably got hurt in the kerfuffle of the fight that was happening because you were standing behind Portia behind and Portia, Portia was swinging on Dennis. So maybe you got a few elbows to the face because Portia was, you know, doing all of this here, okay? Now, I, I'm i just, I'm wondering, was Portia trying to fight Mama Gina? Because that's what everybody is saying. But I could not see that from the clip that we saw. Dennis says it on the next episode that she did launch at his mama. It's weird because what do y'all think? So with Storm's pictures, the, the bruises, do y'all think that Bravo would have one kept filming this show after Dennis beat up a woman on camera? Do y'all yeah so I, I don't they would have see they I would have just put a little black it. screen on there. Yeah, cut if you or it. anyone you know has experienced domestic abuse, please. They would definitely hang Dennis <laughs> ass up to dry if he did that on television. <laughs> please call. They would have milked the ratings. They would yes. have milked the ratings. They would have said they as a as a network don't approve violence against women or whatever. And they would have still aired have, that shit and got them ratings. But that's the thing. Because they haven't done that, I don't believe her right now. Right. Oh yeah, no, I no, think, no, no, we don't yeah, believe. That's her. what I'm saying. I think that, I don't believe her. It's just weird. <laughs> Not but about I that. I just believe that Dennis probably, you know, sexually harasses the people that down to the crew and to the hot dog stand. You know, I would, you know, so he just come off like that. What yeah, was your like opinion of them. of the way the fight happened? What? Because I know we all watched it probably twenty times. I can't mm. rewatching it. I had to record I, it and then watch it backwards and forwards because I'm like, and I kept looking at different people each time because I'm like, too. you see Storm look shocked behind Portia. And to me, the, the reason I feel like Dennis wasn't trying to fight Portia was because Simon to me was too calm. I feel like Simon, mm -hmm. who was right in between Man, Portia Simon and Dennis, do shit anyway. right, he would have at, at least grabbed Dennis. I, the fact that Simon did not try to at least don't stop care like Dennis, that. See, I, I don't know. But I don't think he me. cared enough to remember Fallon said he let her get jumped down to the gas station. Uh, that's what remember, Tisa kept saying on her live that when her and Fallon uh, did that interview, she was talking about how she got jumped by like six girls and he just let it happen. So at the end of the day, I don't think Dennis daddy would have done anything. I think Dennis daddy did exactly what he would have done, which is try to keep his son and his little young wife apart. So, this is the weird thing. You seen <laughs> Portia putting them out saying, get out, get out, get out. You see Dennis walking. You see Mama Gina walking. It's fussing back and forth. You see the waitress walk up. You then see Dennis say, go ahead. Waitress walks, and then Mama Gina walks. And I'm like, you couldn't see his mouth because she's so t short and the, the, the bounce was really, really tall. When I seen Portia say, you heard what I said? Dennis was talking to Simon, and when he seen that, he seen, he seen that, and then he then went in between Portia and them stairs and did this. 
I the security the security was right in front of Portia, so you couldn't really see what her hand was doing, but you saw her head movement. And that's why I feel like we can't tell whether she was lunging or whether she was just talking, because you know how people and are it, when they're I mad. Wonder, she could have been like, and what? Da, 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 you know? I can see and then, that. I wonder if she also did that. Like, if mm -hmm. she jumped, because one of her, her, her right hand was still on her cousin. And right. you could hear her saying, you heard what I said, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. she must have did something like that. When he said, because mm -hmm. he says it in the next episode, that Portia launched at his mom. So I'm wondering if that's what he's referring to. Like and I'm also wondering, her, like, get out. If she wasn't really lunging, but because of the way security was pressing against her, if she was kind of like talking and moving at the same time, because security was backing up as Dennis was walking around security. So she's like off in the corner. So I feel like we can't really tell from this angle if Portia was trying to fight Mama Gina, but the way she let off on Dennis, it made me she feel like whatever Dennis. was, yes, whatever That's happened, it. Dennis, I think misunderstood it. And when he went to grab her, she was like, and then pop, pop, pop on him. If she was trying to fight Mama Gina, then they would have been trying to hold her back from fighting Mama Gina. In my well, opinion. I think Portia was okay, just like you said, it was hard to tell exactly what happened because I ended thinking she could have been trying to argue with Mama Gina or lunch. Who knows? But the reason why I'm leaning a little bit more towards her wanting to fight Mama Gina is because if Dennis had misunderstood it, I'm not understanding why it immediately went to throw on bows like within because I think of the way he grabbed her. Two seconds. But see, I don't did he grab her hard? I, I, think, I don't think he grabbed her. I he, think he, he just reached to separate. No, but I don't think he had enough time to grab but her. But it was the way. Right but I'm saying Simon, I think it was, was the Simon. way he did Simon, and made no, her that think Simon in had that moment. Simon, but that's what I'm saying. Just in a Simon moment, I think everybody was just misunderstanding the movements. Like I don't nah, think Portia she was trying to fight Dennis. She was trying to fight. No, Dennis I think Portia was trying to fight Dennis. But I'm talking about in the moment right before. I think Dennis might have thought Portia was doing more than she actually was, and Portia being already mad and irate and on one whenever Dennis touched her. However, he might have touched her. She might have been like, you know, pow, pow, pow. And you can tell that that's probably the way they have fought before. Portia was mad about that lady walking around in a thong. You better know Portia saw yes. Miss Girl and thought Miss Girl was cute and felt the way and was pissed off and was looking for any reason to let off on him, which yep. is why she overreacted at the table. So I think she was waiting to find a reason to let off on him and him trying to stop her in any type of way physically from touching his mama. The way she feels about that relationship, yeah, mm -hmm. I think she was on one and started fighting him just because she was looking for an opportunity. And I also Crazy knew ass. it was all about Dennis from jump because <laughs> no shade, but Portia usually, whenever she talks, nothing sounds well thought out unless it's coming from another person. And whenever she she wants to roll it, whenever she was having that conversation with Lauren and she came up with an excuse to say, no, I'm fine with the girl here. I'm just mad at Mama Gina. It took me back to the conversation that she had with Simon when Simon, city boy Simon, basically told her to predict all her anger for Dennis on Mama Gina. How are the two of y'all blaming Mama Gina for all of the chaos? So I knew in that moment, then when they was at the table, Portia made two comments to me that was like, oh, this is all about Dennis. She said, oh, you know, good Nick. You remember she said that? Then um, as soon as they start talking about the waiter or the waitress, she says, Simon would never do that. Simon would never sleep with one of his bartenders. No, but Simon would marry or not marry because they don't even sound right coming out of my mouth. Simon would have a play engagement with his wife's ex-co-worker. Girl, I, I can't. I can't wait till next week. I feel like the episode was pretty slow leading up until the last you know, five seconds. So we're going to find out what happens next week. I also feel like Portia knows she was wrong because she came out trying to make Dennis look bad like two weeks ago. She said something about him on social media and everybody was like, that must mean that Portia did something Her mothering, wrong. because she was saying, I think it almost seemed like Dennis might have said something about her mothering and she was saying that the baby was with her in Mexico for a few days after, after. after everybody had left. Mm -hmm. So I think, I don't know what Dennis said, but it don't seem to have anything to do with this, but it did seem like she was trying to do crowd control or some shit. Yeah, she was trying to prep us. Yeah.
Jamie, yeah. what's going on? Um, Dom, I don't understand his claim to fame. He really got on my nerves the way you could tell he was fishing for information, the way he kept prying into what Dennis had going on. That really, really bothered me. And that's why I really like Auntie Liz because she sees through him and she saw through him from the first night when she said, I don't even know you. You're not even my family. Like, I don't even know you, sir. So, and she also said that to Mama Gina, like, he'll bring up the most salacious thing that he can to get a reaction. Portia was definitely upset that Dennis brought somebody else to the island. She thought that she was going to use that opportunity to make him jealous by flaunting her new fiance. And it didn't work. So she really got upset. I also didn't like that Mama Gina wanted to change the conversation, but Portia won't let the conversation change. But when Storm hopped in the conversation and Dennis told Storm to shut up, now the conversation is over. Well, Mama Gina was just trying to get you to change the conversation and you didn't want to do that. So it took Dennis to check your cousin for everybody to get out. Then you wanted people to leave, but you go and you get in their way of leaving. You go and stand right next to the exit. Like, why is you standing right here if you hey. want them to go? Security was absolute ass trash. Why did y'all see? First of all, you know this big ass camera here in the crew. They can't go to the left of the camera. They gotta go to the right. So why didn't y'all have Portia move down there with her people? And Portia, why are you standing up here trying to protect Storm with Storm the one that got all this mouth anyway? What you what you standing in front of her for protecting her for? Because Storm oh, is she got her a mama. Let her mama get up and protect her. Why are you over here trying to do it? Um, so that was that. Um, now yeah, Portia was really upset about the lady. She was mad about the lady being there and just the failure of their relationship as a whole, to be honest. Because when she was telling him to get out, she said something like, I think she said it again, you're disrespectful ass, or or you're something she said to him that gave me the vibe of what a woman would say to a man she's dating. That's what she, what she said. Yeah. No good. Yes. No good. Yeah, yeah, which no good. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then next thing you know, she starts, she took all that anger out. She wanted to release on his mama. And then threw it off on him. It was um a very terrible situation. And it shouldn't if security is bigger and taller than Portia, it still shouldn't have even got that far. She shouldn't have even been able to swing on Dennis had security been doing her doing their job. Can I ask y'all something? I, I wanted to know what everybody was feeling about the tension though between Dennis and Storm. Because I feel like I was feeling it before this even happened. It was kind of like, what yeah. is going on with them? It's giving Pam and Martin. And as we recall, yes. in real life, Pam and Martin fucked. And I was going to mention that because as Jamie brought up a good point about how they were being contradictive about when the conversation could end. What I noticed on Dennis' part was... Mama Gina was saying, can we change the subject? I was not mad at Mama Gina saying, let's change the subject. Because if you're moving on with your fiance for now, move on, right? All right? But Lauren responded to Mama Gina and said, yes, but Dennis is still keeping the conversation going. Your son is still talking. Right after Lauren says that, Storm back doors and said, but your son is the one still talking. And that's when Dennis loses his mind. He didn't lose his mind <laughs> when Lauren addressed his mama. It was when Storm addressed his mama. So I'm like, triggered? What is going on? What's the backstory? I wonder if it could be observation. It could be that they have some, some other type of history than what we think. Or it could be that Storm is a disrespectful as a little girl. And nobody checks her. Everybody pacifies her mother because of what her mama done put her through. And that's where I think Dennis gets annoyed with her little ass. Like, you always want to jump in grown folks' conversation, then if ain't nobody going to tell you to shut the fuck up, I'm going to be the one that's going to tell you to shut your ass up. So that's where I think some of his annoyance for her come from. Like, look at the situation. This girl, stood, this same girl, Portia standing on the wall trying to protect, stood up against Lundy and said, oh, what you got to know about it? Then mm -hmm. she stood up at the table trying to fight Wendy, and now you over she here did. protecting her. That's the yeah. shit that we that I'm talking about. Because of whatever she's been through with her mom, they sit up there and they pacify her. And Dennis doesn't like that. On top of pacifying mm -hmm. her, of course, Dennis likes to get away with his BS. So not defending him there with the BS, Miss Girl gonna be running her mouth. So even if he wasn't trying to holler at her at work, she's he telling Portia about other. all of the stuff he was exactly. doing. Exactly. That's why. He and see, that's what I'm feeling. 
That's what I'm feeling like it's some shit from at the job. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they may pacify her, but you still hired her and had her down to the job and was throwing parties for her. What she was throwing parties for her for, Dennis, right. if you ain't right. like her at some but point. like defense, This is the end in, in his defense. And I asked this question. Dennis owns quite a few bars. So is that something he does for all of his employees right. for their birthday? Because some jobs give you birthday. the whole day off, right? If you work at corporate and so they may give you a whole birthday off. But if you work at a bar, he may be like, oh yeah, I'll give you a section for your birthday. It's your birthday, you work for me, whatever. That's a part of the employee perks. But okay. the way he said it on TV was trying to make it seem like I'm the one that threw her first party. Yeah. Everybody mm. their first party. Because right. that probably is the employee perk. Well, if that's the employee perk, then that's cute. But don't act like you was doing something special right. for her and then act mm -hmm. like she was terrible as an employee the whole time. And that's why she don't work there, especially when she didn't turn around and say you was trying to phone her. I'm just saying. See, what aggravated me the whole episode was Portia keeps saying, well, Mama Gina don't have nothing with our relationship, so she should be out of it. But Dom ain't in there. Neither is Storm. It aggravates me. They want to pick and choose who can comment on whatever. So I feel like if my mama can comment, your cousin can't either. So I think mm -hmm. his issue could also be, yo, I keep shushing sh 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 my mama, but not her. She keeps talking shit and it's her. And it's not what she, it's how, it's how she comes off like a fucking brat. And she I, does. me as an adult, I can't stand bratty people because shut up. Adults are talking <laughs> right. but quiet. So I, I do think it's that because she consistently gets involved when it comes to Portia and Dennis. And that's too because if you don't want us folks involved, keep Lauren out of it, keep Dom out of it, mm -hmm. keep everyone out. You can't pick and choose. And Portia wants everyone to beat down on Dennis. But I'm like, mm -hmm. yes. It don't matter now because we we know he said she mad because they're not doing it because everybody likes Dennis. Right. So that, you know, I mean, line. think about the barbecue. The fiance. Why she was I mad at that barbecue. His fiance. Exactly. But that's how we know the fiance is to make Dennis mad. Like For everything now. you're doing with Simon is to make Dennis mad. Anyway, thank you, Cheekbones Galore, for the super chat. Portia, Portia, didn't you call Kenya a big bully? Hmm. And let me just say this. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you for that super chat, girl. But what we're not going to do is act like Kenya wasn't every much of a bully as she was. Just because Portia is aggravating as hell when it's just her does not mean that Kenya did not overreact to being called Miss America. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Shout she out to Dennis, though, for, uh, to Dennis for turning around <laughs> in the middle of the argument and saying to Darlene, you were part of the problem. Right. She is. <laughs> she so is. That was, the that was the truest thing he had said that whole time was that she's a part of the problem because the rest of what he was doing, and I'm going to tell you all this thing that worked on my nerves about Mama Gina, even though I agree with Mama <laughs> Gina, why are we still talking about this if you're moving on? But at the same time, Dennis was the one that wanted to holler back and forth with Dom about he shouldn't have said nothing and, you know, he should have been quiet and why he worrying about my penis. He needs to be worrying about his own penis. Dennis was going the fuck off. And everybody, <laughs> you know, everybody was sitting up there acting like it was everybody but him. It was like he was going off about that. He's still mad about the fact that Dom told on him because him, him and Portia probably had gotten in a real good place. He was keeping that lie alive and everything was good. He probably wasn't even fucking nobody at that moment. You know, they kind of go back and forth. He probably was in a rest period and thought I wasn't even doing nothing and she broke up with me. A rest like, period. <laughs> Yeah, it was a rest period because you know he's not the type to be committed to somebody completely like that. Even, even when people are attempting to be in monogamous relationships, they cheat. So somebody like Dennis, they th that's the reason why him and Portia are not together is because he knows I'm not ready to not be out here fucking on all these little young girls that want to give it to me. And Portia wants Dennis' daddy because he makes her feel like one of those little young girls that that Dennis is out here saving, you know, his marriage ring for. Like, she don't want to have to compete with those young girls, so she's going to go get her old nigga now. I'm just sad that it seems as if Portia lives in La La Land to the point that she's willing to give up what she has created for herself as her own woman in a way for a man. And she's constantly doing that. And I also have told y'all, I do not like the way she assigns her relationship with God to her relationship with a man. That shit is, nah, that ain't the waste way. It's not. Tragic. Um, any. It is. Any other comments for Portia before we move on? That's it. That's all. 